All right, we're here with the champ, Luis Palomino. Thank you so much for the time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. BKFC 14 coming to Miami. What does this mean to you to be fighting in the city? Man, it's, you know, it's exciting for me. It's uh, an honor once again to be able to fight in front of my family, my friends, my fans, my hometown, a city that I represented all over the world, you know, as I flew out. And now to be back over here and be able to compete here in front of my hometown, it's, it's just the best feeling there is, man. What is the, the, the buzz? And this is different times where we can't quite have the, the fan, the building. Plus, I'm sure that's what you would love to have all the fans there in a jumping building. But what has it been like, I guess, getting ready for a fight in, in your hometown? Uh, what has that been like? Has it been uh, extra crazy pressure? Have you felt a comfort there? What has that been like for you? Uh, definitely comfort, no pressure. Like I, you know, I told everybody else that asked me about the pressure. I, I do understand the question about the pressure because there are people that get pressured under the lights when they have the family members and the, and the home crowd. But man, I, I captured three of my world titles, three out of my four world titles here in my city. I've been representing my city from day one. And now I get to, you know, not only defend my BKFC belt, collect a historical belt from the BKFC from the very beginning, you know, but I get to do it in front of my hometown, in front of my people. That's, that's just fuel to me, man. It's, just, it's an inner excitement for me. I'm ready for it. There's a, there's a special connection to Bare Knuckle and Miami, too. Everybody knows about, the, you know, the backyard brawls and all that type of stuff. What does it mean to you to put this on a world stage, that this is something that you're going to, it's a sanctioned thing, this could be a sport that be taken over the world and to be one of the kind of the pioneers of, a, of a, an old sport that's new again and, and, and is uh, being reintroduced to the world? No, definitely, man. Like I always say in every single interview, I, I'm very honored and happy to, to take part in Dave's dream on taking this uh, to, to be the biggest combat sports in the world, like UFC was at, at one point, because I believe that it's, it's bare knuckle is so simple to understand for the masses, right? Even today, as big as UFC is, and you know I'm an MMA fighter, right, to begin with, right? But even as big as it is, you still have that uneducated crowd where they don't understand what's going on with the wrestling, grappling, oh, stand them up, separate them. You know, but you won't have none of that with bare knuckle. You know, you have too many rounds, you have no gloves. It's very easy to understand a cut, a knockdown, a bloody face, you know. So it's, it, I think it's gonna grow very fast and I'm just very excited and very happy to be a part of it. I'm here to stay, I'm here to be the undefeated retired champion when it's all said and done. Before we get you out of here, uh, the press conference you just had it with Jim, uh, you guys have, it was less, it was more tame this time around, this back and forth. What did you, did you, did you glam anything out of that? Do you, what do you, what do you get of uh, sizing him up with the, the war words today? I think, you know, it, it's, it, it comes down to the truth, man. You know, I speak the truth. That's why I don't, I don't go wrong. It's like I told my son, I have an uh, 18 year old son, he just turned 18. I tell him, look son, you can never go wrong with the truth. You just can't be scared of it, right? But if you don't go, if you don't go with the truth, then you gotta lie and hide. And look, the truth carries me very easily. And the truth of the matter today is that he's not displaying fear. I don't, I don't, I really don't sense. I've sensed fear from opponents many times. I don't sense fear from from Jim Adams. Uh, he wouldn't be the beast that he is in the square circle, right? What I do fear, I mean, what I do sense is a sense of insecurity, his ability to beat me. I don't believe that in his heart, in his mind, he really believes that he has the tools to beat me. You know, I just don't believe that. I don't think he's scared, but I don't think that he believes that he can really beat me. You know, that's what I sense. BKFC 14 coming Friday the 13th at the Intercontinental in Miami. Luis Palmino, thanks for the time, man. I really Thank appreciate you. it. All right.